So, hello everybody. Thanks uh, for clicking on this video to watch. So we're gonna be talking about the Thule uh, Chariot Cross stroller today and the benefits of stroller running. Ultra Flunky D here, as you can see, is very excited to get on uh, with helping me with make this video. Let's go ahead and put this stroller together. Uh, I'll demonstrate that for you to see what goes uh, into it. All right, here's a Thule packed up in the back of a Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. All right, everybody, as the super fast version of myself is assembling the stroller, you'll notice the blue components. These are all the areas that you either need to push or pull in order to install the wheels, uh, skis, or other frame components. Pretty simple, self-explanatory uh, process. Now, once this is assembled, let's look at some of the other features of the Thule stroller. notice down here it is a leaf suspension like on older vehicles uh, that is pretty cool because you can adjust it based on your child's weight you can see the sides are plastic um, there is a different version that these unzip for full ventilation uh, right now we have the infant seat installed which is up to 29 inches long and up to, I believe, 22 pounds for your child. Um, but they sit here and the seat is actually suspended. So it's sort of like a hammock. Behind it, on the frame, is a seat for larger children. Some strollers come with a handbrake. Uh, this one locks in place by pushing it down. So while you aren't running, uh, you are controlling the stroller. There's no additional braking uh, other than that foot brake. It has a bungee storage up here and then a pretty decent size storage in here. If you take a one liter bottle of water, you can clearly see it fits all the way down in there. So you can put a lot of storage in here or a lot of stuff. So now that we looked at the Thule Chariot Cross uh, and looked at some of the features and everything, let's uh, get loaded up and get on the trail. You ready? You ready? All right, let's go. All right, Ultra Flunky D is in the infant harness. So as you can see, pretty relaxed. He has a small foot rest there. It's a three point harness that clicks in right there and the seat is ventilated and he is happy and ready to get running.
some pretty technical areas, but the chariot was able to fit all the way through the trail with the large tires, uh, inflatable tires on both front and back, able to clear almost all the obstacles. Uh, the body is water resistant, so the river crossings, uh, everybody's completely dry, all the gears dry. So now let's head up for the scenic drive and then uh, let's show you how smooth it is on the road. So I'm sort of glad we did this so late in the day. And one thing I noticed is we're gonna be running into the sun. Uh, so a additional feature that the Thule has is a adjustable snap-on sun visor. So this is a sun visor um, that attaches onto the side. Uh, there's a railing system, as you see here, and just snaps on and you can slide it up or down depending on which way the sun's going. So let's go ahead and start heading back. Okay, so it's been about two and a half hours, Ultra Flunky D down here taking a nap. We got about 10 miles, just slightly over 10 miles done. Good training. All right, so that was our review of the Thule Chariot uh, cross country. Um, hope you found it uh, useful. It handled the train extremely well. Uh, there were some definitely technical areas for a stroller um, that with the large tires, inflatable tires, uh, easily made it over the obstacles and uh, not too much of <laughs> shaken baby. So Ultra Funky D uh, decided it's definitely lunchtime. So uh, let's talk about pros and cons of the stroller. So the pros. It has many functions. So it has a rickshaw attachment that uh, you can either leave the back wheels on or uh, put skis on uh, and then you just pull it. It has a bike attachment that hooks up to pretty much any bike. It has or the running stroller with a fixed front wheel and then it has the normal stroller four wheel attachment as well. Uh, so versatility, probably the best one. Second, safety. The three-point harness uh, is awesome. The floating seat uh, for infants is definitely awesome. Uh, the frame of it is probably the biggest safety feature that I like. It's a high-grade aluminum frame that goes all the way around. So Lord forbid something happens where you actually lose control of the stroller uh, or the stroller flips for some reason. Um, it has the full cage around it so your, your child is better protected than some of the other uh, tripod uh, strollers out there uh, that are more open faced. Uh, the storage on it is great. Ground clearance is great, especially for trail runners. Um, yeah, I think, I mean, all around I like it. Uh, it's probably one of my favorites that I've, I, I found. Let's talk about cons. It is one of the more pricey 
stroller systems out there. The second uh, con I'd probably say is no handbrake. Um, there's only the like the parking brake at the bottom of it. Uh, why is this a con? Um, downhill, downhill. Uh, this thing is a little bit heavier, and it rolls uh, extremely well. So trail downhill night. I don't find it as much of an issue, uh, but road downhill. The third con is the size. Um, it, it, when it folds up, it is a little bit larger. You have to definitely plan your storage, especially if you're going on a, a family trip or something and you have a sedan or a compact or a hatchback where space is already an issue. Um, this this is going to take up quite a bit of uh, space so uh, just plan for that either roof rack um, or, or something I do have to get a shout give a shout out to all the companies that make this possible uh, this is not a sponsored um, video at all nobody's get, given me this equipment um, it's all purchased on my own uh, Thule Sweden they make some great products definitely love this stroller and then of course the video is all done by the Hero 7 GoPro and, uh, and the iPhone yeah I think that's it let me know if you like the video uh, leave any comments uh, or questions that you have either about the stroller about the park uh, pretty much anything I'll definitely try to get back and answer everybody's questions and uh, yeah, if you like what I'm doing, subscribe uh, to my page.